Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to practice by yourself. So if you're on the court alone or you just don't have anyone to hit with, we're gonna show you a few things today that you can do on your own. All right, so before we get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. All right, so let's get started. Like I said, we're gonna show you a few things that you can do by yourself to really improve your game. And the first thing that we're gonna show to you is how you can improve by using drop feeding. All right, so drop feeding is a really good thing that you can do, especially if you have access to a lot of balls or a basket of balls. Um, the first thing that we're gonna start off with is doing some static drop feeds. So with me not really having to move to the ball, just dropping right in front of me. And the next thing that we're gonna do after that is some dynamic drop feeds where I kinda toss the ball a little bit so that I can make myself move to the ball and then hit. But let's start with the static drop feeds first. Okay, so I have a basket of balls here in the corner and I'm right here at the baseline and what I'm gonna do is work on my forehand first. So this is really good for working on form if you're trying to correct things like that or if there's some issues on your form. This is a thing that you can do to get repetition after repetition. And also using static drop feeds, you're dropping right to your strike zone so you don't have to move. So it's, it's just a really easy thing that you can do. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna hit some forehand drives and I'm gonna start here on the even side. So I really wanna focus on getting that contact point where, where I want it, right out in front and swinging low to high with a nice relaxed stroke. Like I said, this is something that you can do by yourself and really adjust and work on your technique, all right? So I'm gonna go down the line first and then after that, I'm gonna hit some cross court drives here and then after that, I'm gonna hit some to the middle. All right, so notice that not all my drives are going deep. On returning and on hitting my returns, I wanna get those deep, but if I'm hitting a ground stroke from the baseline and my opponents are at the net, it's really um, vital and important that I try to keep that ball low to the net. So if I can work on hitting a topspin drive, getting that ball to dip down and forcing my opponent at the net to kind of contact the ball lower at a lower point, then my balls aren't going to be landing deep, obviously. So I'm actually working on topspin and bringing that ball down, forcing my opponent at the net to hit with a low contact point. All right, so now let's go to the odd side. Hi, if you're really liking this content, please give this video a like. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out. And now let's get right back to the video. All right, so now I'm on the odd side and I'm gonna do the same thing on my backhand side. So whether you have a one-handed or a two-handed backhand drive, this is just a great thing, like I said, to really work on your technique. And for me, on my backhand side, since I have a two-handed drive, I really wanna make sure I get low and uh, have my weight transfer going forward and I'm hitting through the ball, having a nice contact here out in front. So just like the even side, what I'm gonna do is start hitting some down the line then I'll go cross court, then I'll hit some to the middle. All right, so we'll show you a few here.
All right, so now let's move into some dynamic feeds. And instead of dropping the ball right in front of me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle of the baseline there, and I'm going to toss the ball to my right or to my left, or even in front of me so that I can work on my movement to the ball, striking the ball with good balance, um, good positioning, and hitting that ball out in front, all right? So now this is some dynamic drop feeds, like I said. So I'll show you a few here. We'll start with the forehand, and then I'll show you some on the backhand. All right, so those are some ways that you can work on your drive from the baseline now let's go to the non-volley zone all right so i'm here at the non-volley zone line and there's many many times where your opponents hit that third shot drop and maybe it sits a little high or maybe it doesn't even sit up a little high and your opponents are not all the way up at the net this happens very often and as you can see here i have these paddles you know kind of in the middle of that transition zone and as my opponent after the third shot after they're making their way up to the net they're going to be somewhere in that area and this is a good shot on my fourth shot and i'm that i'm not hitting it really hard but i'm just just trying to roll it at their feet and keep that ball down trying to make them contact down at their feet okay so you can use drop feeds here and i'm going to work on hitting some to the sideline here and also going towards the middle but anywhere that i can get it kind of on that line then that's that's kind of where I'm aiming because in this scenario here my opponents they just hit the third shot and they're making their way up and I just really want to just keep that ball down All right, so now I'm on the odd side, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to practice rolling the shot at my opponent's feet in the transition zone with my backhand side. Um, whether you do this with two hands or one, this is just a good shot that you can practice as they're making their way up to the net. So remember, this shot is not a winner. This is kind of a setup shot, trying to catch your opponent in transition. Like I said, the paddles are in a good spot, probably around where your opponents will be after their third shot. So this is a good thing that you can practice. Now let's jump to the last thing that you can practice by yourself. All right, so last but not least, I know we've heard it time and time again. One thing that you really could work on by yourself is your serve. The serve is so vital and it's actually something that I've been really, really trying to be more aggressive with in my game. And you'll see as your serve gets better, it will pay dividends in the game, all right? You'll get shorter returns and you'll have just a lot more attacking opportunities, all right? So here I only have a couple paddles. I don't have cones today, so you can easily put some items out there, but I have it to the backhand side. You don't have to serve to the backhand side, but you can serve it anywhere on the court what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying my best to get as much pace and topspin as I can as deep as I can but I do have 
uh, two targets towards a right-handed player's backhand side. And like I said, this is just a great thing that you can practice. Practice your serve. All right, so practicing your serve is a big one. That concludes the last portion of what you can do by yourself if you're on a court and you have a bucket or basket of balls. All right, so we really hope you enjoyed this video. These are things that you really can do to just really dial in your, your repetition and also work on your technique and being fluid with your strokes and, ha and focusing on your footwork and your contact point, it can really improve a lot of parts and aspects of your game. All right, so thanks for watching us in this video and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.